Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we discuss the spreading brain-eating amoeba in the US. A deadly brain-eating amoeba called Nigleria fowleri is gradually advancing northwards from the southern United States due to climate change, according to the latest report. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, revealed that the geographic range of these cases has been shifting northward, with more cases popping up in Midwestern states than before. Nagleria fowleri is typically found in living, breathing people of freshwater, including lakes and streams. When an individual is infected, a really uncommon event typically coming about because of swimming or diving in infected waters, the single adaptable cell goes from the nose into the mind. It causes staggering mind contamination, known as essential amoebic meningoencephalitis, or PAM, which is always lethal. Diseases happen when debased water goes up an individual's nose, permitting the creature to enter the cerebrum through the olfactory nerves responsible for your feeling of smell and damage the brain tissue. Gulping tainted water won't cause disease, the CDC says, since N. Fowlery flourishes in warm waters up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius, it's possible that warming global temperatures may affect the organism's geographic range, the authors said. In the journal Emerging Infectious Diseases, the specialists investigated U.S. instances of N. Fowleri connected to recreational water exposure, for example, swimming in lakes, rivers, waterways, or stores from 1978 to 2018. They recognized an aggregate of 85 instances of N. Fowlery that met their standards for the investigation, for example, cases that were associated with recreational water presentation and included area information. During this time, the quantity of yearly announced cases was genuinely consistent, ranging from zero to six every year. By far, most of the cases, 74, happened in southern states. Yet six were accounted for in the Midwest, including Minnesota, Kansas, and Indiana. Of these six cases, five happened after 2010, the report said. The uplifting news. There have just been 34 contaminations announced in the U.S. over the most recent 10 years, as per CDC information. The examination which inspected CDC information from 1978 to 2018, found that new cases moved northwards at about 8.2 miles every year. It is conceivable that rising temperatures and resulting increments in recreational water use, for example swimming and water sports, could add to the changing study of disease transmission of PAM, the paper peruses. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.